Deborah Goldberg has been working at the Mount St. Vincent University Food Bank since she moved from Ecuador last winter. She says it's only getting busier. So I was amazed because this Friday was the day that I have seen the most people ever. Uh, it was crazy. We have lots of volunteers. We have around 15 volunteers involved here. And like we couldn't catch up with the demand of people coming. The shelves were full of food on Friday and nearly empty by Monday. Usually a lot of international students come. But now I was surprised to see that also local people were coming to, to see food on the food bank because they are also in need of these resources. Over at NSCC's Ivany campus, support staff had students asking for financial help with groceries within the first few hours of the semester. I'm not, I'm not a physician or nutritionist, but I think we talk about all the time that you can't learn if you're hungry. Your brain needs calories to function. Uh, your body needs calories to function, to think, to process. You know, it's stressful enough being a student if you're stressed out and then your body is stressed because it doesn't have as, as much nourishment. Um, it's going to be really hard to learn. Students like Will McDougall find it hard to afford groceries, especially with the high costs of housing and tuition. I find I have to make a lot of sacrifices day to day, you know, whether it be do I eat breakfast this morning or do I wait and save it for, for lunch or whatever, right? So It's both deeply impressive and deeply worrying to see students have to go through what it is that they're going through. And I feel like that there has to be something at all three levels of government and whatever that may be to help ease the burden of going to school. Dalhousie University's food bank is no different. It sees at least 300 students per week. What used to be a place to get supplementary snacks, according to its manager of eight years, is now somewhere that hundreds rely on. I see a lot of roommates show up and between, like if there's three of them, they each get to take a basket. So between the three of them, they will literally make up a meal plan that they can all have group meals within the whole week till they can come again. Partnerships with Feed Nova Scotia are what help keep these food banks up and running, but they're all seeing the same trend. More hungry students and not enough food. Selena Alders, CBC News, Halifax.